hello everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome um my name's elaine and the channel is called silver now light um i do i'm a lifestyle channel and i do hauls and i do um fashion try-ons i do anything to do with the house and home so it can be like diys um just home making in general as well but there is i do like um fashion as well so there is a quite a bit of try-ons and and uh, fashion on the channel but today guys it's a charity shop haul yes guys i decided to um pop in the charity shop i haven't been to the charity shop in a while but um so i decided to have a little pop in just to see what was about you know and i've heard like prices have gone up as well in charity shops so i did want to check out you know and see um, what the prices were these days so I did go into two charity shops and I went into the Salvation Army one which is quite a big one here in Sunderland and I also went into um, the Cancer Research UK um, charity shop and I must have it the prices have gone up guys um, and I was quite surprised you know I mean I'm all about charity and uh, I do give to charity I do often donate um, a charity I always have you know all my kids clothing has always gone to the charity shop when they've grown out of it and uh, like over the years and you know ornaments and things like that I've given away at the charity shops um because I mean you know what I like to buy you know you know I like to uh, to get like home goods and things and I, I can't possibly keep them all all of the time so uh, you know I do I do get rid of things that I don't use anymore or no longer like and that can be sort of given to family and friends or to charity shops um so anyway yes the prices had gone up I was surprised um but there was still some bargains there yeah there was one thing and it was a wicker heart and then um, it was two pound in B&M originally and the charity shop wanted two pound for it so um you know it was like you could buy it new for two pound and this was like a used item so you know i think there's a bit um of odd pricing in the charity shops these days but anyway i'm going to move on and show you what i bought so i've got these three things sorry i've just noticed a scratch on the chair <laughs> i think one of the dogs have done it Ooh. Yeah, I think one of the dogs has done it. This is why I like to keep covers on the furniture because the claws. Um, anyway, yes, I'm 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 on a right run to dear on. I'm <laughs> really sorry. So I picked up this, and it's like uh, you put sort of. Um, I haven't got anything handy, like a card. You know, you could you you would put like a card in there. It could be a. Um, a do you know what I bought them for? A uh, you know when I do like a buff here, you know, just to put some cards in like labeling the food or you could also like just put like if you were doing a birthday for instance uh, like a birthday buffet you could put uh, pictures of the birthday girl boy in in these as well hey uh, i mean just you know you can use them for anything really but i picked up three now these were three pounds so they worked out as a pound each which wasn't bad and they were originally from sainsbury's so uh, I'll probably be using them in the summer on a barbecue table, no doubt. So I picked those up. Um, I also picked this up. Oh, it's ever so sweet, guys. I just can't walk past things like this. I mean, I know people might think, oh, well, it's a bit like chintzy, dated, whatever. But do you know what? I don't care. I don't keep up with fashion trends. Um, I, I just like what I like. <laughs> but this is it. It's like a beautiful um, little trinket pot. And it's, it looks very sort of vintage and Parisian to me. And, you know, I've always liked this shabby, shaky look and, um, like, French sort of classic look uh, long before it became a thing, you know. Um, I do have some French bedroom furniture that I bought. Um, it would be, like, 30 years ago now, you know, when shabby, chic wasn't even a thing. But I'm, I'm glad that I've had it that long. It came back into fashion. <laughs> <laughs> um but yes getting back to this little pot i mean it's got a beautiful li little butterfly on it there i just think it's lovely the colors as well it's going to look lovely on my dressing table i have no idea where it was from originally because it hasn't got any mark 
like on the bottom but what I will say is it was only two pound so I thought it was dead sweet for two pound I think by these day standards if I was to buy that in B&M I probably would be paying something like five pound for it so it was a bargain <laughs> okay my next item I absolutely couldn't believe this guys it's wrapped up so please bear with me I'll just unwrap it quickly um really couldn't believe it so it's this and it's a Roy Dalton old country rose clock now I've collected this for years I collected this um before I had kids when I got my first place my flat I started collecting this I used to go on the basement if you're from Sunderland you'll know what I mean so I used to go on the basement if um bins a house of Fraser and they used to have all the really nice stuff in there you know in the basement it was all like the china dinnerware candles all of that and um I used to finish work and I used to go into bins and get like my beauty things because I had all of the beauty counters there. Then I used to go down in the basement and have a rummage there. And um, I used to pick up a plate, like a plate at a time because the plates were quite expensive. They were about like 10, 12 pound a, a dinner plate, you know, um, back, back then. I mean, I'm going back years now, probably about 35 years. And um, I did used to like, like collecting just a little bit at a time, you know. And uh, I'm quite surprised that you can pick up the Royal Dalton for like really cheap now and it works, the clock worked, it didn't have a battery in but I do have batteries, Um, like it's not a normal battery for this, it's like a, it's a funny one but I, I do have another Royal Albert clock which takes the same battery so I had some in and they did say if it didn't work I could return it you know and get a refund so I bought it, brought it home and um, put the battery in and it worked. You know, it's, it's working great. So yeah, this it's absolutely immaculate. I think it's probably, it's been kept in a cabinet. You know, in a china cabinet. There's no way this has been kept, like, on a on a sideboard or anything like that. It's too pristine. Um, it isn't a second, because how you can tell if the second, cla uh, second class, <laughs> seconds is, the VAR um got a, like a mark through here. You know, the stamp, there'll be like a little scratch through it if it's a, a second. But this is a first quality. And do you know what? It was only £8, guys. £8 for a Royal Albert or a Country Rose clock. I think it's beautiful. Absolutely love it. Timeless piece that never goes out of fashion. Because it's never really in fashion. So, and that's what I like. I've done all of the mistakes uh, you know, are about trying to keep up with trends and things, and nah, I'm too old and long in the tooth now. Um, and I think it's a losing game if you're trying to keep up with trends, like modern trends. You know, um, you just, yeah, you you just, and and for me, I would rather spend my money on um, experiences, like life's experiences. Yeah, I would rather like spend the money on a nice holiday, you know, than like getting the latest. Um, I don't know, a sofa colour or whatever. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, my next item, guys, is this skirt. And uh, I love the colours of it. I'll just show you it. Can you see the button? It's got like a lovely, um, I wouldn't say it's a frill, but can you see? I'm going to come closer so you can. There. Now it's got this like cut out design. And then underneath is like the orange um, slip skirt. So that peeps through this um, like frill bit at the bottom. And it's got that detail on the, at the waist as well. I will try and pop this on so you can see what it's like when it's on. But I got it. It's, um, it's by Jasper Conran. I hope you can see that. Jasper Conran. And it's a size 18. And this was only £2, guys. So I thought that was a bargain. Definitely a skirt that I would wear. It's um, I could wear it now here in the spring. But I also could wear it in the autumn and possibly in uh, like early winter. Um, some nice brown tights on as well. Uh, that would be nice for the winter actually. So yes, that was only £2, guys. Next up. Now this is a marmite. <laughs> <laughs> so you either love it or you hate it, I think. Um, so, two things about this. Um, it's big. 
here it is it's like a clam isn't it like a half of a clam shell now i remember i had something like this but it was it added back to it you know it was like another shell open shell and um it was bought for me for um I think it was like a Mother's Day or anniversary gift. And it had cactuses in. It's not cactuses, cacti. It had a cacti and succulents in. And uh, it had like a gravel. And I thought I could recreate that again in this. Because I killed it. <laughs> but I think what I'll do is I'll put um, artificial ones in. Because you can get like little artificial ones in home bargains and B&M. So I'm probably going to plant this with artificial succulents um or if my friend because my friend has these big shells and things in her bathroom so i might ask her if she wants this and uh, she can pop it like in her bathroom but that's it there i mean the color i might spray the color if i do end up keeping it my friend doesn't want it um i prob probably will spray it a more neutral color and um and plant it up with like fake succulents but uh yes it was only two pound <laughs> It was two pound. This is from the um, Salvation Army one. This, the little pot was from the Salvation Army one as well. So yes, two pound for that. Oh yeah, guys. Um, my hair. Yes, a few of you have been confused. Um, how I've got like dark hair now, and asking if I've like coloured it. Um, this is my natural hair. Um, it is coloured. I do have to colour it, but it's this is kind of more neat in my natural hair colour because I I have got like quite grey hair now, so I have to colour it. But this is more like my natural hair colour. Um, the blonde is a wig. I usually wear like um, a wig. It's just a cheap cheap wigs that I picked up from Shein, but um, I do like them, you know, and I do like wearing them. Uh, I did start to wear them as an experiment really as to whether I liked the blonde hair before I committed to colouring this hair um, because you know it can be really damaging on your hair when you're bleaching it when you're colouring it like that lighter and um, yeah it was just like I wanted to test out whether I like the blonde hair or not and you know what I do I really do like the blonde hair at first it took some getting used to you know because like well um, you just it, it is a big difference you know and uh, I, yeah it took some getting used to but I do like it I do think the blonde hair complements my skin colour more um, because my dark hair is just too dark too harsh for my colouring I'm very very pale but not only that why I decided to try a different colour was because I'm having to colour my hair every three weeks and my roots you can see them now and this is only like four weeks worth of growth and we, you can really see the root because it's greyer you know or it's not like even sort of black and greyer coming through it's greyer it's really quite obvious and I just do not want to be colouring my hair every three weeks because that's why it's really quite damaged now because of the constant colouring of every three weeks you know what to to hide my grey roots but um i've got friends with blonde hair as well and uh well blonde hair gray and blonde they've, they've got gray hair but um they color their hair blonde and when their roots grow through they don't have to get a colored like straight away you know not every three weeks they can afford to let the roots grow longer because they're not as noticeable at all and um I've noticed with mine, it makes me look like I'm going thin, like actually got no hair and I look thin on the top, you know. Um, so, yes, that was the, you know, the kind of thinking behind the blonde hair that, um, you know, just because of the sheer amount of colouring, you know, and product that I'm using on my hair. So, yes, I think um, I'm possibly going to, Pl take the plunge and, and like go blonde but um i do want to get my hair in a better condition before i do that 
so yeah i mean i will be flitting back to blonde and dark you know and um, it's probably going to be a bit of a guessing game what color i'm going to be and my little alice when i pick her up and i've got her here and she's like looking at me as if to say well the voice sounds the same but you don't look the same she looks a bit puzzled and then um, i mean i know she can't see clearly but she can see like the outline and things but um, she's doing really well, guys. Honestly, I absolutely adore her. I really do. Um, she's, like, feeding really, really well. Emma's, like, doing really, really well as well. Um, I mean, I will bring her on camera, you know, if Emma doesn't mind. Um, and, and show you her, but she's, she's changing already, you know. They grow up so quick, don't they? But, uh, yeah, she's an absolute joy. She really is. I am going to miss them so much when they move. You know when they when they move out but um you know it's uh it's nice that they're getting their own place and um they're starting off on their like new adventure uh which is wonderful so uh but i'll be close by you know and i'll i'll i'll, I'll have alice <laughs> as much as i can <laughs> yes guys also i do apologize for the this on my face um i would normally try to cover it up but um I can't I'm not I'm not allowed to put anything on it. Um what it is it's like um I'm using this special cream and it works on like a cellular level because um I did have a, a, like a blemish here and it was a blemish that never ever went away. Now I thought it might have been um because I used the retinol and I thought there might have been like a reaction to that. Well I did think that at first and uh, it just did not go away. And I was speaking to my friend here on YouTube, Penny B. Um, if if you don't know Penny, I'll link her channel in the description box below. But she does brilliant charity shop hauls. She is a charity shop queen. So please um, head over to Penny's channel um, if you like charity shop hauls. But um, she, I mentioned it to Penny and she said, oh, I had something like that. You know, like go and get it checked out and uh, I did and luckily I did because it, it had the potential to turn into something really nasty um, but it's caught early and it, I'm using this cream and the best way I can describe it is it's like chemotherapy cream and um, so I just apply it on a night time and uh, it's going to zap that thing away you know so but it's not, nothing to be concerned about it's like caught early and um, I just want to also like reiterate kind of what I've said in the past and to use that sunscreen guys use the sunscreen you know especially if you've got freckly freckles and things like that don't want to frighten anybody you know it's like as i see this has ended up on me and it can be easily dealt with but the the thing is prevention isn't it and um you know i've i do wear sunscreen now i do wear it all the time factor 50 always use something more than a factor um 30 you know and and and, and reapply as well in the day you can get sunscreens as well that you spray over makeup i do use the one it's the ombre salon one but yes i definitely keep using that sunscreen and also um what i didn't realize as well was you can actually get um sun damage to your eyes so when i went for my checkup uh, my eye examination I have um, on the whites of my eyes on the inside corners here you can't see them on camera um, I have yellow like spots on my eyes and um, you know she commented on them she said you've got some UV damage to your eyes and I was like what and she went I went like are you saying like I've got sunburn <laughs> on my eye whites of my eyes and she went what kind of she says it's UV damage you know by the sun and um I said oh okay she went like you just use sunglasses you know and and i'm i don't always wear sunglasses at all in fact i've only started wearing them over recent years you know so yes your eyes you need protecting as well in the sun so don't forget to protect your eyes because they cancel for uv uh, uv damage so i've learned two things recently and life is all wonderful you know and it's a learning curve so my first thing i learned is this thing called keep like a chemotherapy cream and the second thing i've learned is um you can get sunburn on your whites of your eyes if there's anything you're not sure about you know what just go and see your doctor um and, and do checks you know check yourself regularly and things like that um but you know the worst thing is don't go on dr google honestly 
um I've been guilty in the past of going on Dr. Google and honestly, it's just the worst thing possible because they'll give you the worst case scenario on there. So, you know, Dr. Google's not qualified. He's not, you know, go and see your doctor um, because it's just the outcome on Dr. Google's never good. <laughs> oh, I also wanted to mention another lady here on YouTube and um, I know you like my fashion try-ons and things like that and this lady also does fashion try-ons, you know, she does hauls and uh, she does outfits of the week so she shows you, you know, she's worn that week for work and things and she's called Tracy Jane and I know she's she really would like to get her a thousand subscribers and uh, it would be great if we can help her get there. So uh, if you can head over to uh, Tracy Jane's channel and, um, you know, have a look at her videos. And if you like, you know, subscribe to her channel. I'm going to leave a, vi uh, a video. <laughs> I'm going to leave a channel linked in the description box below as well. Uh, she's such a nice lady and uh, she also does have dogs, like little terrier dogs. You know, I think she's got four of them. So, uh, yes, you, you often see our little dogs as well. The Yorkshire Terriers, they're ever so cute. So, anyway, guys, um, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, please like it. Please give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Um, I mean, don't feel obligated, you know, but um, it would be really nice to have you here. I'm sorry this might have been a bit rambly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah but yeah i hope you join me in the next one and it's going to be um it's being um and home bargains um video like a whole i think i've got quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff so uh yes until the next time guys i hope you all have a wonderful day um and enjoy the rest of your week and i'll see you on sunday so bye bye for now bye